Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? You don't know, nothing all gone. You good? I'm good. Hey, so man, you know, uh, you know, we got a special guest today. Somebody that uh, I heard, man, it kind of reminded me of Dage Lowfield. I told her that too. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I can tell you, man. You know, um, I love her vibe. It's something that relaxes you when you listen to her music. Her flow is just definitely nice. You know what I'm saying? And her backstory is something that I thought was definitely very favorable something that other people could therapeutically be healed through so man let me let me just go on and introduce her to you guys man her name is uh, Di- diamond banks diamond banks aka skinny mini what's going hey, on baby what's going on hey nice how you doing i'm doing good feeling good so you here yeah i'm here you made it yep boss talk 101 mm-hmm. let me get that shout out right quick Ooh, just shout out to the team, man. Hey. The guy, most, and, 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 and everybody. Shout hey. out to everybody, man. I'll so so let today. me let me ask you this, man, because a lot a lot of people, you know, sometimes people don't know, you know, they don't they don't know. Uh maybe they don't they don't know who you are, you know. Just tell us a little bit about your story, who you are and, and just where you're from. Well, I'm Diamond Banks, if you don't know. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so that's over a thousand miles from here. Hey. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Uh <clears throat> Grew up on the north side of Milwaukee, but we was always moving around as kids, but that's we always made our way back to the north side. So How did you get to Texas? Um, oh, it's a long story behind that. Uh, just trying to find myself uh, outside of my family, so I just kind of went traveling and ended up here. This is what I like the, the best, so I ended up in Texas. Yeah, yeah well, you, you when you're rocking with Texas, you're rocking with the best. For sure. How long you been here now? Six years. Oh, so you really like it. Yeah. Okay. How long you been here now? Nineteen. Oh, so you really like it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when you when you think about uh, uh, music, what, what what got you into the music? Uh, music was just like an escape. I started off writing poetry, and then that was just too slow for me, truthfully. And mm-hmm. then I, that's how I got back into music. Well, got into music. Period. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so um, how many? Uh, I mean, how many songs? Do you have a lot of songs in your catalog? Stuff that you've wrote or that you hadn't released? Or is it something to where you're still working on your craft? What's going on with you? Um, I feel like as an artist, you're going to always find yourself over and over again. So, like, I got music. Some music will probably never be released. Um, and, yeah, so, like, right now it's like I don't sound like how I did years from now. That's why I say you're going to continue to always find yourself. So, yeah, I got old music, but I'm... This new thing, like this new me, or not just me that I'm the state of mind I'm in now, like that's the music I'm putting out right now. So, okay, okay, that's live. So, you ever thought about going back and like you have a song that you did but never released it and you know it's good? You ever thought about um, redoing it and make it something new again? Um, Broken Not Bitter, that song, that's a song um, that was written a while ago, um, but it just wasn't the time to put it out because. Um, like he said, like the music is basically me rapping about my scars. Like the wound wasn't closed, so it wasn't a good enough time to put that song out at the time. But now I can listen to it and put it out and feel good about it, and it don't bother me to listen mm-hmm. to it. So music like that, like okay, you know, like like right now I'm going through a situation. I can write about it, and it just won't be a good time to put it out right now, uh, just because it's something that's still, you know, I'm not healed from, or you know, like. I don't but, don't you, but, but I always felt that whenever you rap about something that affected you so much, you put, you end up putting so much feelings into it when you're rapping because you're going through it. I think that sometimes it might you might go harder that way rather than when you're over it and you're doing it. You know what I mean? That's true. But the, honestly, it's like this, okay? It sounds crazy, but like the song that I broke and I bitter that I put out, right? So... It's like sometimes reoccurring things happen. So, like, I write it then, and then something similar might, like, trigger that feeling. And then I can go in. But, like, I'm over that now. It's different. Like, the song, I wrote it then. Something might trigger it. I go in and record it and feel good about it because that's, like, my release now. 
and then like I don't know, it's just to like let a, it go. Right, it's like right. an ongoing thing. Like I don't know. I know what you're saying. Have you ever have anybody? I mean, have you you ever assigned to anyone? No. Never been signed. No, I've had uh, more so. The reason why I haven't is because um, I um, I have this thing of overthinking. So, like, I had to get myself out of overthinking certain things because I've had opportunities come my way, and I've always been, like, an overthinker. Like, well, what about this? What about that? Like, I've ruined a lot of things like that. But at the same time, it's like I have a – like, I feel like certain things happen for a reason, too. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So my spirit wasn't telling me to go that route. I didn't do it. It is what it is. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Um, so live performances um, – where was the last time? I know COVID hit last year, but yeah. where was the last time you was able to perform? Um, it's been a while. It's been a while since I performed. Yeah. Yeah. So because of COVID, you, you've you been kind of held back? Um, or or, or you have, been, have you been pushing to perform? Because it's something that, that you have to do. You have to be Yeah, able. I'm pushing to perform most definitely. It's just like the time had kind of been bad, like, uh, with certain things, and then I have children too. So I know that. How many kids you got? Two. I got two. Okay. A boy but, and a girl. Yeah, so but yeah. do you do you uh, are you on are you on Spotify and Apple? Oh Media? yeah, I'm on Spotify. I'm on all streaming sites. Yeah. Okay. Right How's that going for you? Um, it's a process. It's a, you know? it's a process. You're yeah. trying to build it up. Yeah, I'm trying to build well, it. Well, you know, one thing I can tell you is what you see is what you get. It is how the people feel about you, and it's it's something that I love about uh, the internet and social media. As I always say, babe, you know, um, you know, it's telling you what you're doing and who you are, and mm-hmm. you have to listen to it. Same thing goes for this podcast. Uh, same thing goes for all elements. Even you know, like when it comes to your your, your people who give their intake on what you're doing. They're all free uh, streaming platforms. A lot of times people are looking at you and what they tell you you are, that's exactly who you are. Yeah. In, in the, the eyes. eyes of the people. Right. In the in eyes of the people. Eyes. Yeah. And that, but, but that's who you're trying to appeal to is the masses. Right. So you have to listen to them in order to break the algorithm. When that's you, true. I know it. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm fly. You got to <laughs> take that negative and a positive and create yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't be so thin-skinned with the negative because a lot of people do But they talk affected. bad to me on there, on my comments a lot of times. <laughs> that niggas need to shut up. <laughs> Why didn't niggas want to let him talk? Let the guests talk and all that. I don't be giving a dang about none of that. First of all, they, they don't even know me. And, and, and second of all, um, I showed and see them buying this stuff and putting this store together and spending the money on the stuff that I spent. So most of them niggas broke. Yeah. Oh, you didn't hear me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anybody can get on the YouTube and make a comment, but mm-hmm. nigga, what's your, what, yeah, with a blank picture on the dang thing. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Nigga flex with me. Nigga, what? Well, yeah. Don't ID. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I hear a lot of uh, stuff about me though, honestly, truthfully. But they be talking. Yeah. One thing they say is, hey, why she so, she, I always talking about the struggle, like pain music. She too pretty, like she already sell. If she talk about what all the other girls is talking about, why she won't do that? Well, that's not me. Like, yeah, Ke- Ke- uh, Keisha Cole talked about the struggle when she first came out. Yeah, I think it's all a process. I mean, life gonna change. Life is gonna always change. It's gonna be always something to talk you about. Tell me, all of your songs are all about struggles. No, not everything, but I mean, it's gonna probably. Because I'm sure in there you somewhere. have good times too. Yeah, of course, but right. you know, like. Hard times stick out sometimes. But are you willing to work <laughs> with people who say, okay, we want to make a song like this or we want to make a song yeah, like I'm that? Yeah, I'm open-minded. I feel like I'm versatile. You know what I'm saying? Are like, you easy to work with? Like, that's pretty much, you know, you don't, uh, I want to say. Are you a, a drama queen? Yeah, I try to be. Anita I try to Baker, be. Baker, she was one of the dopest uh, singers ever. She came out with that one album and uh, it and really didn't do a lot after that, you know, and then she came out with a, a couple, more, but it was hard for her. And most people that I hear talk about her, in different documentaries say she was hard to work with said that she didn't she had bangles yeah. but they say she was horrible to work with mm-hmm. yeah it, i mean i am an introvert like i know that about myself it just i go off you know energy and stuff like that too so like yo, energy. i think that's a part of everybody i said that yeah. last night you know i think that's everybody if i come at you in a certain way you're gonna be like yeah, you know, but if I come at you this way, you're going to be like, okay. You know, so I think that's just a part of human nature. Yeah. I do. But at first, you have to always know who you are. So because you know you're an introvert, you need to have that team around you. Exactly. Who can deal with certain situations. So when you can find with your team, you can always say, hey, I need f- delegate. 
hey, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. So you don't really so have to deal with people except from your fans. You have to. You can't get away from that. You're going to have to deal with your fans. So you have to put on a different pers- persona. You know, like you said, your alter ego is Skinny Mini, and then you have Diamond Banks. There you go. You can mm-hmm. always say, well, I like that. Diamond Banks is the person that's the not an introvert. You know yeah. what I mean? She's the outgoing person. She's this. Yeah. You know, you, know, you got to put that's that hot. person I like on. It. Right. When you yeah. have to put it on deal with your fans, but other people that you don't really have to deal with, you can let your crew deal with them. That's right. And that's for the most part, that's how it go. Like even right now, like that's really how it go. Like the people around me, everybody. Why you always got people around you? I always have my brother, both of my brothers around me. Yeah, they speak a lot of times. They they just better with people. <laughs> and you not? Are you? The I mean, I'm girl? not gonna say I'm not good with people. You the only just, girl. I'm the oldest girl. Okay, okay. I come from eleven. Wow. Yeah. So my mama had ten, but then I have two sisters on my How dad's side. How young is the youngest one? If you the oldest girl, the youngest child, <laughs> Michi is what about four or five? That's what's up. Oh wow, yeah. you have a huge. Shout, I have a big responsibility. Shout out to your mama. Cause she wow. know how to get it done. I'm like, telling y'all. <laughs> sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Wow. Y'all here, nigga? Yeah. yeah. AKA, get them here. You know what I'm talking about? That's a good thing. <laughs> Y'all better be so taking up. Mother's Day supposed siblings. to be lit. Yeah, so my life is serious because I have a big responsibility, truthfully. So I try to have fun. Like, I have my friends and stuff. I have people like, come on, Grandma. Like, call me Granny and stuff like that. But I have fun, too. But I got responsibilities, like, for How real. How old were you when you moved out of your um, mom's house? I went to college. I was, what, I was 18. I came back home. You look young. How old are you? 26. I was going to wow. say 25. I'm 26. You young. <laughs> when is your you birthday? Uh, November twenty second. You all right, person? Yeah. <laughs> no, right. but you, but you have you. You're always rapping around about all these struggles. So when I look at you, the reason why I ask you how old you were when you left, because I'm trying to think about the timeline of, because when you are at home with your mom and dad, yeah, you know, as kids, you say, yeah, I, I'm, I'm stressed. I have struggles, whatever. But you ain't had that much struggles when you were at home. So I'm trying to you see the timeline th- of when you left and how many years you've been having. So, you know, struggle. Look, I was feeling things as a kid. That's how I understand, like, what you do around your kid will affect them because people say, oh, you, you you not stressed, you don't have bills and stuff like that. But I was seeing my mom and my stepdad go through uh, different struggles, and I was feeling that as a kid. And that made me want to go to my grandma because, like, that's where I feel safe at. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, it started at home. And my, well, my mom took good care of us. We never really had to struggle, like, but... My pop, my stepdad was a hustler, so you know what come with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was a hustler, but uh, was your dad in your life? My dad, my dad was uh, my dad was actually incarcerated for twenty one years, I think. That boy he, out now, he, he out? out and he's doing great right is now. Is he? Shout oh, out, yeah. what's his name? Rudy. Rudy. How old was he? Is he in Milwaukee? He's yeah, he's in that area. He's in Wisconsin. Okay, go ahead. How old were you when he got out? I was what, probably like twenty twenty one. So you okay. was going your whole life. He was gone, yeah, but he was there though. My grandma, she would take us to see him every holiday. Our we got the same birthdays. Me and my dad, she would take us up there. Make my it, birthdays was special. Look, to, look out, Rudy. Um, follow Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Subscribe. Your daughter is on here today. Yeah, mm. yeah. Shout no, out, Rudy. Yeah. I want to know how did it feel for you? Because I've always heard um, people who've been in, incarcerated don't want their kids to come see them because they don't want them to see them like that. You know, yeah. behind so. You being the kid coming to see him, how did that feel for you? How my dad was he? I feel like he was as real as he could be at the times. You know, only thing they lied about was how much time he was getting. They never told us that he was facing life. You know what I mean? They would just say, "Oh, we'd be like, so when dad getting out?" So it was an ongoing wow. thing that wow. people they would just say. He'll be out soon. He'll be out soon. Right, yeah. So that's the only thing they pretty much lied to us about. My mom, her, him and my mom wasn't together, but my mom always gave us that uh, lesson to, for my granny to go uh, take us to see him and stuff that's like good. that. That's yeah, good. that's heavy. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, but you didn't feel no way. You know, you I was sad. I was certain. upset in way. Sometimes I even found myself like resent my father. Like, why would he even put himself in a position to be away from us? You know right, what I mean? Right. But like, it passed over. Then I had my brother in my ear. He, like, nobody could say nothing wrong about my, my dad to my brother, my oldest brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? How old is your oldest brother? Uh, I think he just turned 28. <laughs> so he don't play by dad? Yeah, he didn't back then. He didn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. Y'all have a good relationship with 
both mom, dad, stepdad, everybody. Yeah, I always feel like I was blessed to have two fathers. Like, people don't look at it that way. But, yeah, I feel like I yeah, was blessed. Yeah, it was different for me. I kind of resented my stepfather, you know, a lot of times. I mean, I think that's natural even, like, sometimes, too. Like, it Because I wanted my real dad but, to be there, you know. Like, I ain't okay, nigga. I see you. And like I was the, like I was the meanest the end, kid too. At the end, when he when he didn't if if something happened with my stuff, you see how close we was at the end. Mm-hmm. He was everything. I mean, you know, I sold him guns and you know sold him TVs, did different stuff with him, and he became a good friend. You know, over the time, and then I seen how he stayed with my mom until she and passed there away. Go. My mom passed away, and he was right there at her bedside, and I was like, dang, that's heavy for him to stick it out all the way to the end. To the I remember when when she passed away, he was like. She gone now. He was sitting in the hospital right there. So, you know, I can't say he didn't do his part. He stayed with her to the very end. And she had cancer, so she fought it for a while. So mm-hmm. that's kind of how things be. When you, when you really see how I stump down somebody else, you be like, yeah, he a real one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So sometimes you don't know yeah, as the process go. I feel like me and my brother, we gave our, our stepfather a run for his money. Like, we really did. I bet. But the thing is, like, he would always try to bribe me, like, from day one. From day one of him, day, he was around since I was two years old. That's the only man I ever seen my mama with. Ever. Wow. Let me ask you something. Let's get on. Uh, let's get on the music again. So you got how many? How many uh, albums or how many mixtapes? I have. Many? I have three singles out right now. You got three singles. So you yeah. hadn't even. Have you ever put out a full body of work? Um, not like not recent. Like not like some like. I'm just gonna say no. Not right Meaning now. Meaning you had to revamp your your whole brand. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and that's 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 something because sometimes you can you can reinvent yourself. You don't mm-hmm. have to stick with something that's not working. And a lot of people fear change, but a lot of time that change is needed in order. You got to do have big changes in order to see things change in a big way. Yeah, definitely. You see what I'm saying? You got to sometimes uh, you could try different things. You don't have to stick with one thing. You you can try different things. Don't you agree? Yes, I totally agree. You have to. I mean, you have to because at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you know, um, it's it, it's something to be be talked about, you know, for as how many people, you know, because the, the music industry is oversaturated. There's a bunch of horrible music out there. There's a bunch of good music out there. It's a bunch of bad attitudes out there. It's all kind of stuff out there. Mm-hmm. Where do you fit in that whole conglomerate? <clears throat> you ask me how do I fit? Honestly, I just feel like, like I'm different in my own way. Like I'm different. Like I, I just use music as like therapy and I know it's people that can relate to it. And I feel like that's what make me different. Like my story, I know it's people that's somewhere in this world is people that can relate to what I talk about. So I don't really like when I make music, I don't really think about like, how am I different? I just know it's going to touch people like with the same story or relatable problems or whatever, like mm-hmm, moods. Mm-hmm. Cause every song is not, like a problematic song or whatever, but I know it's somebody that gonna feel me like. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Have you have you uh, have you had an opportunity to work with uh, meet any big big uh, time artists? Um, yeah, I have. Uh, one of my favorites was Kevin Gates. I never forget. Okay, I met him years ago. Uh, okay, but um, recently I uh, worked with OMB Peasy. Okay. So, uh, be peasy. yeah, I've worked with him. He's like one of my favorite artists. So we reached out. My team got that uh, together for us. So I was happy about that. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, um, O and B Peasy, what 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 song y'all worked on together? Um, I put him on uh, one of my songs, Dreaming. So the song is Dreaming 2.0. It's, yeah, um, I think. Didn't you send me that one or no? Uh, I ain't seen you doing with Peasy on there. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, that's it's not up. out yet though. So oh, it's the, so it, still it's, you you should have sent it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I'd love to hear it. I, yeah. I mean, definitely want to hear what you're working on and make sure that if it's something we can bring out, it may have been something that it, that that made this interview something different. You know, yeah. you just never know. So mm-hmm. I always when you when you when you go on platform, send them everything so they can really dig in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what um what made you want to come and be on Boss Talk? Yeah, let's get that out the way. Um, oh, because, I, I mean, I like your character for one. And oh, you it. you seen me, huh? <laughs> he was like, that nigga crazy. Yeah, you just you don't stop. <laughs> oh, wow. See, that's, that's what they cool. think about me out there still. 
That ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't stop <laughs> what? What is you saying? <laughs> What do I don't stop? You just don't stop. I just say whatever. Boss I be on talk, her. huh? Boss talk 101. Yeah. It goes down. But it's not a bad thing because she still wanted to come on. Yeah. 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 And I'm an introvert. Like, I'm, I don't know. Like, it's, I like it, though. Did you I like the way it looked? You like the way the, the, the whole thing was set up? You're yeah. like, that's a nice platform. Yeah, it's a vibe. Yeah, and that's what everybody say, man. I, I love all the people that's, that, that God put in my way to where they, they like, you know, Cause it's a lot of them reaching out. I mean, it's a lot of people reaching out. We we not even rocking with, and it's money involved and everything. And I just, cause I'm blessed. I just want the people who God put in my life to be on here. Yeah. So when sure. I pull you in, it's a reason. It's like okay, we can do something. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure, yeah. You know, and that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at building relationships with people who, who God would center in my way. You know, and and people who really really love music, and who really really care about their 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 artistry you, you right. get it mm -hmm. it gotta be it gotta be it gotta Authentic. be right yeah it yeah. gotta be it gotta be good man you know so you know the thing i can say is um make sure you know uh whenever you not here you you uh tell people about boss talk do that for, for sure. you boy we'll do. you know what i'm saying and then i mean shout out to what's your brother name robino rob rob bino <laughs> rob rob bass <laughs> just big rob big rob okay yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 big rob so that's what i'm calling him so big rob yeah yeah i hope to be doing spend a lot of time with big rob i, I like i like how he vibes so. yeah for sure so, so so i got a question i see you wearing your headphones with one on your ears and the other one off she cool why is that <laughs> um i think i was what 20 i'm gonna say 22 I probably was 22, but I had, like, a minor stroke. So, like, something like one side of my, you know what I mean? Like, can't taste. The hearing is kind of off a little bit. Like, it's just crazy. And that doesn't affect your music? Mm-mm. Because I be in the studio rapping like this. Sometimes it, it, don't, it's, it doesn't really bother me. Or I just record on a low, like, a low bass, like, low volume. Right. It just depends. Like, and that's crazy because... It doesn't show. You can never tell unless yeah, it's you tell a blessing, somebody. Though. It's a blessing that yeah. you're able to. But you have to watch probably what you eat and what you, you do. Don't get too stressed and all of that, right? Yeah, definitely. What level of a stroke was it? It was it was real minor. minor. Uh, my mom, I went home and visited my mom, and she was like, look at me. And, I, and she felt seeing me drooping, and she got scared or whatever. We went to the doctor. I stayed, and, they said, and that's what they told me it was. Wow, yeah. did it scare you? I, I didn't you. even know what a stroke, honestly, at the time, I wouldn't really, I'm like, what is a stroke? a stroke? And to my mom started sending me pictures of how people turned out after the fact, and my grandma came into the room and prayed with me and stuff. I'm like, oh, oh this is serious. Like, yeah. Are you very spiritual? I am. That's I good. can't run from it, even when I want to. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You have to You have to hold on to something, because I always feel like it's a reason why we are all here. Because yeah. at that, that stage where that happened, a lot of people never survived even from a minor stroke mm -hmm. and for the main fact that you're still here you have a purpose you have something to fulfill yeah. so you have to hold on to that and try to affect people positively you know what i mean and be able to talk about god and tell them about him as well yeah most definitely what do you think uh what do you think do you think do you, where do you wish to be in like three years um in the next three years, I want to finish this year off strong, truthfully. So it's like... Who y'all plan to work with? Plan to work with anybody else? That, that, that Who would you like to work with before the year's out? Um, I really don't have a set person. Right now, it's just like, a, and I don't mean this in a way, no type of way, because honestly, I like music. It's a lot of artists that I am a fan of, but I'm just focused on getting Diamond Banks out. Like, And if it... If I end up meeting somebody and we we can get something together, like cool. But it's like I want people to know who Diamond Banks is this year. Like, wow, that's yeah. my biggest thing. Uh, have anybody got in your DM and be like, "Hey, what's up? Uh, this such and such." Yeah, yeah. I've been having a lot of blue checks in my views like crazy. So <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. ooh. I told my brother, I said, "Bro, why are they watching us? What are we doing?" He like, just just go, like just go, like. So I'm like, okay, let's get it. 
Let's do what we got. to do. I think they watch. I think they they watching yeah. to see if they can get in on the opportunity, and they look at all the artists. I think that's what they What's do. What's the most surprising thing that ever happened to you where music is concerned? Like somebody who reached out to you, and you're like, oh my god, this person. Like, look at this. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Something that blew your mind. I don't know. I, I'm going to just go back. I remember when I didn't, like, look at music or... Because I'm from Milwaukee, right? I used to do these shows back home, um, like, every, too much talent. Like, just go to perform and, you know. And one time I went on the set with... Um, I went on the set with one of my homeboys. I was on the song with him. And he was like... Uh, at the end of the show, I had another show after that, and mm -hmm. Tony Neal. I'm not. I'm not sure if y'all know who Tony Neal. Mm -hmm. Tony Neal mm -hmm. and all them, uh, the core DJs back yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they like. Uh, they used to call me Miss Money back then. Say, hey, Miss Money, come back. Mm -hmm. Tony Reese and all them. So I'm like, what? So I told Rob was outside the club waiting for me so we can go to our next show. And they came back. It was a lot of people there. They like, we're going to send you to Atlanta to perform. I had never been out of the city or nothing. So mm -hmm. they sent me out there. And that's when I was able to meet, like, uh, Kevin Gates and all them. That's when they was just starting off. Rich Homie and all them. They was just starting off. So I'm like, how was it like plies. <laughs> how, how was it like meeting those guys? Um, I don't really know because it's been, like, so long ago. I was just, like, I'm here. young and right. I'm here. How old was you about, what? 18? I was we was fresh out of high school. Oh, okay, eighteen. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good thing though. At least you got that opportunity. Mm -hmm. That matters, man. You got yeah. the opportunity to do something that a lot of people never do. Yeah. So I like it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to ask you a question. What is your top three artists of all times, dead or alive? Any genres. It doesn't have to be rap. It can be anything. Oh, uh, I got to go with Tupac. Hold on. Um, Tupac, Tupac back again, Tupac, my guy, young boy. Tupac, young boy, he locked up. He ain't Keep scared going. to talk about Tupac, nothing. young boy, he locked up. Uh, Let's go. Who else? Yeah, say it. I ain't gonna say it. Say it. it uh, who is it? I had to go. I'm gonna just go with Dej Loaf. <laughs> Dej Loaf ain't heard from nothing from her in a minute. Where's she been? What's up, Dej? Did, yeah. I guess old boy hurt you. You ain't <laughs> came back out yet. What's his name? Lil Dirt. I don't. It probably went from Dirt. Yeah, it was somebody <laughs> heard her. Yeah, but she ain't been back out. What happened I to her? I rock with Dej Loaf. Maybe know? I need to get on the show and just ask her what she doing these days. She probably like I'm. I'm not a. Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, um, basically, uh, I'm not uh, uh, not putting nothing out right now because I'm busy. I'm working on my myself, you know. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm just trying to paraphrase what she would say. Probably. Yeah, whatever. That's I your like, home girl. I like don't try to take up that you that see. they remind you of her. Yes, I used to get so Dej mad. Dej Love, let me see. Uh, <laughs> so you said Tupac. Uh, who else did you say? Young Boy. Young, Young Boy and Dej Love. And Dej loaf yeah. why would you get mad i because who wants to be like somebody right mm -hmm. but at the end of the day i is like i don't even think i sound like her i think it's more so persona you know yeah, i don't even i, I really I, I ain't heard from it so long i don't know how you sound no more <laughs> maybe may have she had anything come out here recently uh she had a um maybe i'm just i ain't staying close enough to the streets i don't think that she that? I don't. I don't know what it is. She up there in uh, Michigan still, or where she living at now? She in L.A. I, I don't know. She you don't rock with her like that. You both that, keep up with your. That's your home girl. But Dej Loaf is low. Like she low key. Mm -hmm. She's real low key. She always had. I been. bet she an introvert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing I can tell you is, you gotta stay focused. You can't mm -hmm. worry about what Dej Loaf doing. You she, oh she she holding back. Nigga, I'm going hard. You yeah. know what I'm talking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, hey man, let's let's get into this this music, man, because you you supposed to drop something fresh for me, just just a little something, just to stab at them a little bit, you yeah. know, so they can they can feel your skills, man, because that's what we doing. We feel the vibe out, man. Diamond Banks in the building, baby. She feel yeah, get it popping. Yep. Uh, oh, what what just happened? It ain't nothing. Oh, okay. Diamond Banks is here, guys. She 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 about to get into it, y'all. Just a little feel for what. Just something you guys can vibe out Let to. Let me see what you can do. Already. <laughs> Turn me up, though. I can't hear it like that. You hear? No. Uh -oh. I have to put on both of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A little louder. A little louder? Yeah, you got to start it over, too. Okay, we can bring it back. Diamond <laughs> Banks in the building, baby. It. For the vibe out. 
She said she going eat anyway, nigga. She gotta go. It's time now, man. Holla at your boy. Hey, uh. Look, a rap nigga want a relationship to build his rep. Baby daddy say if it ain't his, act like it is. You know that pissed me off. Who the fuck you think I am? I'm way too loyal for your insecurities. You don't deserve me. These niggas smash whoever free. So I'm celibate. Plus it ain't no hoe with me. Go find another bitch. Why the hell you stuck on me? Cause you know I'm different. Look, <laughs> hey. bruh, you know the vibes. You lying to yourself while you living a lie. I do what I want. Only answer the guy. They smile in my face, but I know it's a disguise. Trust issues. You know I keep that pistol beside. That's all good, baby. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. You brought it in now. Don't even trip. I like it. I like. I like it. you like I her like style. It. I like. I like her style. It's different. Yeah. Already, I, I, you know, the thing I, I say is, man, you guys got to keep going. I yeah. had a dude come in the store and did a cipher, and every time it was like five people, and he could never get it right for like an hour and a half. Oh, man, oh man. That would kill you, wouldn't it? And he didn't get to be on the cipher either at the end of mm -hmm. it. I was so sad for him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it can happen like that. So the spot is something else you get put on. But I like I your, I like it. your tone. I like your voice. I like uh, you're different. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, you like it because you understand it. I understand everything she said. Okay, I'm just trying to see because she don't be understanding people rap. She from oh, Jamaica. Yeah, like when you when they rap so fast and it's like oh, I'll have hearing. to be like, all right, let me rewind it again. Let me listen again. Let me. I don't get it all. Yeah, yeah, I think. But like I, I heard you. Yeah. So what uh what 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 do you think what do you think you got to do better when it comes to your craft? Um, I would say open up because it's like sons, like I said, like I, it's stuff that I've written. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hurt so and so feeling. But at the end of the day, this is my story. You know right. what I mean? Like this is it. If it happened, it happened. It shouldn't have happened. Like it is what it is. Um, so that's like my thing is just like letting go. What's them kids' name? Dior and Christian. Christian. Dior and <laughs> Christian. Christian Dior. Christian Dior. Christian Dior yeah. Wow. That's you was cute. drunk? <laughs> <laughs> no. Dior came first, you know, and then six years later, Christian came. Six years later. Wow. wow. Six years later. You want it, anymore? It, uh, so six yeah. years later. So that that's that baby. How old is the baby now? He's one. So this nigga here in Dallas, shout out to that nigga in Dallas to be in the right, stomp down nigga. What's his name? Go and put your baby dad out there. No, we good. Yo, oh, 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 stomp down. He from Dallas though, right? No, he not though. What? He ain't from Dallas. Oh, okay. He's from Milwaukee. Wow, he came oh, down here wow. with you. Shout out to that boy that came he from came Milwaukee. came after. After. But oh, he okay. came, yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's, help. It's, it's life, baby. Yeah, for sure. Life is something that just happens. You know what I mean? And ain't nothing you can do. God has an ultimate plan that you ha you are included in. Thank God for that, right? Yeah, for sure. And we just don't know. You got a blessing out of them kids, Christian and Dior. Yeah, I'll let you, boy. Most definitely. My kids is what keep me going. Like I, only, I, like I said, I moved here just me and my daughter. Okay. I just wanted her to, like, I wanted to heal in peace, and I wanted her to be in a different environment. I right. get it. I stopped doing a lot of stuff when I had my daughter. Mm. So, like. Had to, huh? And Christian was just, like, a reminder. Like, hold on. <laughs> so, it's like. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. I yeah. I love my kids. You love them, and, and that's what that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so your, your, your whole setup is with your brothers, you and your brothers. Yeah. That's so, good, because you so know they, they got your back. So, they all down here, too? No. Oh, okay. My brother, uh. Robert is here, and then my, my siblings come see me all the time. Like, my family. They fly in they and come, out. My family. My mom and my stepdad do not fly. They will drive back and forth. How far is that drive? <laughs> uh, 16 hours. Wow. Yeah. They just come see you. Yeah. Like, we're going to go see our babies. They going to come. Look, I was the first one to leave out my family. And then my sister came. But you brought your brother with you? Not the first. Not at first. Okay, at first. I had yeah. a friend of mine. I came out here. And then that was it. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, what else you got for? That's it. That's it. You ain't got nothing else for? Got none. Okay. You ain't got nothing, huh? None. Look none. at how she be looking. <laughs> but I tell you, so, so you gonna come back and give us the new music when it drop? Yeah, for sure. We gonna. Do yeah. That. Yeah, we maybe so this summer I'm dropping something this summer. Okay, we okay. Get it together now. So as soon as you drop it, let me know. So is it better you think to bring out singles now? Like you doing just it, different it songs? Can be, I, I I see a lot of people doing that. It can be, but I feel like the type of music that I'm bringing out, um, I feel like a body of work is good. Okay. People want to hear your story. I mean, one song might not do it. 
I feel like a body of work is needed for me right now. What song did you write for your kids? Um, I haven't got there yet. You better get there. <laughs> yeah. That's happy right there, see. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. see. That's where you want to go, yet. right? I mean, I got little verses and stuff, but I haven't got I want to So you've been thinking about me. it. It's like it got to be the perfect song for them. But you can't be too romantic with your work. You'll never put it out. Yeah, that's true. But with them, I I, I don't know. It's just something about cool. my kids like, I don't know. Serious. Already. Serious. Yeah. The thing I can say is, man, we love you oh. here at Boss Talk. Once we get you in, we love you. Mm -hmm. No matter what, you team Boss Talk now. So when you nice. tell people about it, you be like, come out here and check us out. We at Boss Talk, not me, E and e CEO and official Mr. Jamaica, no, but you. You are here now, okay? And it's time to turn up, man. Holla at your boy, it's a unique hustle, man. Hey, we out.